It is hard to believe in some ways, Greg, isn't it, that we're in this situation we're in, given the abundance we have of sunshine, wind, coal and gas. As many have pointed out, something's very wrong uh, when Australia ends up in this situation. But, look, we know uh, this is not only the confluence of a few things, the, the cold weather, uh, what's going on in Ukraine and what that's doing to uh, the international resource prices and the, the failures at old coal-fired power generators. We know that's the three factors behind what we're seeing now, but it is also, of course, this cumulative effect of the last decade of the failure to really put in place a market that can deal with these situations. Look, um, the suspension of the market yesterday, uh, as you were discussing with Jenny McAllister a little earlier, it is pretty hard to know, a couple of things, how long this is going to uh, be required, and I don't think the regulators can really give it, and they haven't been able to give a clear answer on that because they really don't know. Mm. Um, but secondly, what it is going to do to prices, because you know, presumably the generators who are being required to put their... Uh, their, their power into the market and be compensated for that, what level of compensation, how will that be passed through, what will we ultimately as customers have to pay for that? So there's still a lot of unknowns, I suppose, about the situation we're now in.